There's been some mad Monday shenanigans. The Saints have been involved. Ask what's happened. Well, Andrew, you've had some bizarre things come across your desk. I think I might be able to take claim that this is the most <laughs> extraordinary. I want to start by saying I understand no one's been hurt, so you'll be happy with that, Andrew. But I'll read from the Herald Sun website here. A popular dwarf entertainer claims he was set on fire during an AFL club's Mad Monday celebrations. We can confirm it is a St Kilda football club. There was a lighter being passed around, and because people were wearing costumes, including Blake, who's the dwarf, most of the outfits were flammable. Uh, not hurt. The, the flames were extinguished. He's incredibly upset. He's uh, very, very shaken, uh, which is not that funny, but uh, that is unusual, And <laughs> Fair to say, that's not what you want to see on a, on, uh, on a Monday, but are you used to this sort of thing? <laughs> oh, I can't <laughs> have, you, have you heard anything quite like it, Andrew? <laughs> I've never known you to be speechless, <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> that's a first. That's a first. Andrew Dimitri with nothing to say on a big issue <laughs> on, got, on national television. We've got him finally. But I, how do you respond to that? I well, don't know. I, I, think right? if, I, I think what you do is say it's an unfortunate incident and you move on. His employers uh, are okay. mostly most upset. <laughs> Dad. Now, I'm going to change the subject. Um, Andrew. Who do you think's going to win the Brownlow? No, I won't go to you just yet. I can't. <laughs> you can't. No, you're, you're going to read the votes in about three weeks. So I'm hoping you're in better shape than you are right now. Are you, OK, I'll tell you, Champion Data think you're going to win the Brownlow. And they've been...